Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, wait. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Bro, I swear it said zero. <laughs> that's the luckiest hit all day. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next OP matchup. Today in the Fire Fiera playoffs. Let me see if I can find the uh, bracket as well. I believe there's only like six teams left. I'll look for the bracket, but right now we got the first attack coming in from Dragon 5. Team Republican versus Leyendas AE today. Let's look for the bracket here. I should be able to hopefully find it. I am a noob, so I also might not find it at all. No, I found it. I found it! Okay. I will show... Oh, gosh. I'll show it right after this attack. So we got Dragon 5 coming in with some Queen Charge Hybrid here. On this OP ring base, using a wall breaker over at 1030, it's probably going to be for the King and the Siege Barracks Pecker to go inside and deal some damage. Queen making her way inside, already took out the CC troops, including a Lava Dog. And here we go with the full sin yellow hybrid from the left side of the base. It's got to get all the way through the town hall. This hybrid has to put in a lot of work. We're popping that king ability. Siege Barracks getting some good value. First heal spell is in. Queen on the bottom side, setting the funnel for the miners, the hogs, to go directly into that town hall chamber. We pop the warden ability. Rage up in the core. All three Inferno Towers are there. We absolutely wreck the first Inferno Tower on the top side. Heal going toward the right. Everybody's skipping the left Inferno, which is a little awkward. Freeze up on that scatter shot. Can anybody get that left Inferno? Ew. The healers are taking a lot of damage. Augs from the Siege Barracks on the top side are getting some decent value. Homie is showing his iPad on his player cam because he's already confident swagging that free spell swagging that invisibility spell he knows bro who cares about that inferno tower dude not him that is a three star all day long to kick things off in this match beautiful job from dragon of team republican to start it off and let's take a look at the bracket here there's only a couple teams left this is double elimination so as you can see we have Team Re Republican versus Leyendas AE right here. Upper bracket round of eight. We did have Alpha MX Esports versus VN Tompani. I think that was yesterday. And Alpha MX actually took the win. So VN Tompani in the loser's bracket. They can only afford one more loss and they're out. Space Station versus 24-7 was also yesterday. Space Station with the win. So 24-7 knocked down to loser's bracket. And later tonight, we're going to have Renegados Esports versus the Black Magic. So there's your bracket in the playoffs. This is Fire Fiera america's season so i think it's only north and south america teams playing catio is in with the first attack for leyendas more hybrid both these teams liking hybrid here we go let's see how catio is going to be able to do it now as far as i'm aware catio is one of the best legends league pushers in the world with queen charge hybrid he's always towards the top of the leaderboards and let's see how he's going to crush this I want to call it a common base. I'm pretty sure I've seen this in Legends at least a couple times. It's definitely not a new base. He's going to wall break into the Expo. His Coco Loons pull the Tornado Trap and wake up the Town Hall. With the, the splash damage of the Balloon dying. We rage up. We got another wall breaker going in. Queen should hopefully get the Town Hall. And then move inside the wall break and skip the Giga Poison. I think that's his goal. He's using a super wall breaker over there just to pull traps. Hybrid on the right. Tesla pops. Is that gonna... Come on, Queen, go left. Go. Oh, she's not going left. She should eventually go back left. Because the miner's gonna get the expo, the storage. Yes, Queen's going left. Beautiful. She'll eventually be able to get that scatter shot over there on the left as well. King and Siege Barracks getting some good value over here on the right. Hybrid making its way into the core. We still have CC troops to worry about. We're gonna let Queen go to ability. Does that mean we're gonna save the rage for the hybrid? There's the poison. Popping the Warden ability. He's trying to decide whether to rage the Queen or rage the Hybrid. What do you think he's going to do? He could probably rage the Hybrid. I don't think the Queen needs it. I don't think she needs it at all. Bro, he's going to try to swag it. No, there he goes. Heal spell, rage spell on the back end for the King, for the Warden, for the Hybrid. Absolutely smashing 
through the top side of the face. Is he standing up? I think he is. Bro, he clashes standing up. Wow. Yeah, this base is wrecked, dude. I think uh, for Team Republican swagged two spells on their first hit, and Catio's like, all right, bro, I gotta beat you by one. So he swags three spells. Nicely done right there. Hybrid is looking OP on these anti two star bases lately. GG's, we are all tied up. Killer is in with some queen charge. Lalo against Cadiel's base. This base also looks familiar. I know I've seen this one before. I feel like it's a Chasmac base, but it might be slightly different. I don't know. Getting the spinny wheel there, using a hog rider to test for traps for the flame flinger. He's trying to get his queen to go in the scatter compartment. Flame Flinger on the right to grab some value. Eventually, it'll make its way over to the Eagle. Queen goes inside. We're going to rage her up. Skelly Trap pops. No big deal. She'll be able to take care of that. <clears throat> She's going to fight the Queen. Luckily, the Rage Spell is still active. He sends in a Headhunter to get a shot off as well. That definitely helps. And it pulls the CC. OP Headhunter. Super Minion with the Lava Dog Bro. He's getting the Wi-Fi bar. It's his second time already. This guy's legit attacking from McDonald's. There we go, he's back in. Queen fighting the Hound. Gonna have to rage her up again. Super Minion and Expo do a lot of damage. There he goes with the next rage. He brought a jump spell to this attack. We'll see which way he's gonna try to force her to go. He's gotta get the multi. But is he gonna drop it in such a way where he expects her to get the multi and the single and even more after that? Ooh. Okay, so she'll only be able to reach the multi and the single, and that's it. All three heroes from the left. We rage up the queen, freeze the single again. Flame Flinger's finally working on the Eagle Artillery. Using the Warden with the King and the RC. Going for the Town Hall, though. How much damage is that Gigabomb and Poison gonna do? We're gonna pop King ability. We're gonna pop Warden ability. Town Hall's barely about to wake up. Queen dipped all the way back out after clearing the core. She's going up with the Flame Flinger, and we're going to send the Lalo from the bottom side so Warden can hopefully transfer over and help assist the Lalo, even though he's on ground mode. Like it? Road Champion's getting kind of wrecked by that Giga Poison. We pop her ability down, goes to Sweeper. He's already given a peace sign to the camera. Oh, well, he got the Spinny Wheel, like, twice, and his game never stopped, I bet, so he's probably, like, 30 seconds ahead of us. <laughs> You can see on his iPad, he already swagged like three spells. Oh, here they come. He's about to swag them all. There they go. There's the haze. There's the freeze. There's the invis. Everybody in this match is swagging spells, bro. Oh my gosh. Somebody sign these guys up to play on a pro team. All right. They're going to be late if they don't start the attack in the next four seconds. <laughs> Got it by one second. Not late. Leyendas AE are in with their next attack. A little Hydra action with three clones and an Electro Dragon. Okay. Here we go. Where does she start? E Dragon on the right side of the base. King and Queen up on the top. King might walk the wrong way though. Rip. Rip that homie. Well, that's awkward. Where are we sending the rest of the dragons, though? It's with the king. Say YOLO. Queen has to fight the enemy king, and we don't have a headhunter. That's gonna force her ability. It's looking a little sloppy. Battle Blimp going for the Town Hall. Ice Hound coming out of the CC. Yo, what the? The dragons are gonna have to pop it. That's unfortunate. Ooh, get the Blimp and the Warden ability. Oh, <laughs> the Sweeper pushed the Blimp back into the Warden ability. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been in there. It gets there. We got three clones. We do the Mickey Mouse clone drop. Can we hit all of... Yes! Oh! All the clones go off. The Mickey Mouse clone deployment worked. We get all the Inferno Towers. Royal Champion on the top left. The Queen's already dead. The King's already dead. Lots of dragons still alive on the right. We start freezing early. There's a Tesla farm over there. Probably a lot of Skelly Traps too. This Royal Champion's about to get wrecked. I can already sense it tingling in my toes. There goes her ability. No skelly traps? Not even one? How are you gonna have a Tesla farm with no skelly traps, bro? Who put the traps on this base? What the? Can they get through this air defense quickly? It might still triple if they do. 
Three dragons, warden, owl, still alive. It's gonna come down to traps. If they don't hit any seeking air mines, I think it's a triple. We just gotta wait and see. That dragon's healthy. If there's no seeking air mines, dude, that's a three star. Oh boy, somebody needs to get fired for not putting any skelly traps by the Tesla farm. RIP. That scatter shot should have still been alive right now. Dragons are getting through the Teslas. Plenty of time on the clock. Only one Tesla remains. The Warden, the Owl will easily pick it up. The Dragon, the Lassie there to help. There's the Skelly Trap. It was on the wrong side. And there's only one there, apparently. RIP. There's enough time for them to get around toward all three of the last buildings. It's a three star. Leyendas AE are going to be two for two, putting all the pressure right back onto Team Republican. Team Republican are in with the fifth attack of the match. Both teams are two for two. Queen Charge Dragon Riders here. We're starting with some sneakies on the right side of the base. A couple of Hog Riders to test for traps. We got an Earthquake spell, so he's gonna end up Flame Flinger in the Town Hall. Waiting until 2 minutes and 44 seconds to drop that Queen on a Queen Charge. Gotta keep an eye on the clock now. If he time fails by less than 14 seconds, we can blame it on that. You almost always need to start with your Queen when you're doing a Queen Charge. You can maybe, you know, if you need the King to funnel like two buildings before you drop her, that's okay, but... You usually don't want to wait too long to get her going. Rage spell to get her in toward the scatter shot. Looks like there's going to be a bunch of Teslas over here. Flame Flinger doing its thing on the south side of the base. We have yet to drop the Quake spell to wake up that town hall. Air Skellies. Oh, that timing's bad, but we use a Headhunter and I think he'll be okay. Oh, she's low, but she's okay. The ability does not go off. Nice use of the Headhunter in the second Rage there. Beautiful. Flame Flinger doing his thing. We need to drop that Quake spell. We need to drop that Quake spell. Uh-oh. Wait, oh, Queen. Oh, what the cap? Queen is dead. Rip her. King on the top side. Dragon Riders are in. Royal Champion as well. Healers are switching. Flame Flinger is going for the Town Hall as he did drop the Quake spell finally. Raging the Riders. Popping the Warden ability. Sending a Headhunter across the map inside the Warden ability, but it's not going to be able to kill any heroes. Ugh. They're looking sloppy. It's looking like the first defense of the match. There goes the Poison spell. As the Headhunters, the Archers, making their way over to the enemy or, or the offensive Royal Champion. Dragon Riders moving up. King popping his ability toward the left. Eagle Artillery is still alive and shooting. Can the Flame Flinger at least get the Town Hall? It should. Invis, the Dragon Riders, are the is the Royal Champion still alive? She is, with healers on her. Lol. King made it all the way across the map, but oh, we can see him freaking out. He's not happy. <laughs> He's not happy. Unfortunate with that queen dying through ability. Oh, how much percent can he pick up? How much percent can he pick up? Dragon Rider, couple rocket blooms. RC hits the tornado trap. She goes down. Dragon Rider not gonna get a whole lot of value as the air defense pops off. We'll get a couple buildings on the south side. Still able to pick up mid 80s, which is uh, actually somewhat impressive. But not gonna be the triple they're looking for. It's a defense for Leyendas and a chance for Leyendas to take the lead with their next attack. This one falls short at 80. Five. F is in with the next attack. More Queen Charge Lalo. Let's see what he's got. If they three star here, they will take the lead. Four Rages, one Invisibility Spell, one Haste. Pretty classic setup. Let's see what he's got against this box base. Battle Blimp currently activated. Let's see if he keeps that. Takes the full 30 seconds. He's gonna you do a Yeti Bomb early. Yes, sir. Yeti Bomb for the single target Inferno Tower. Sneaky Goblin to Funnel. Is he trying to just use no spells? All he wants is that single. He'll get, excuse me, he'll get the CC pull as well. Oh. Bro, that's awkward. <laughs> How you gonna drop?
drop the Yeti Bomb right on top of the single and not even get the single. Oh, gosh. He still won't get... Oh, he does. Okay. Single goes down. Use the Poison Spell, please. Please. The Poison Spell on the Ice Hound actually saves you so much time. Because the Ice Hound is slowing down your queen. There we go. Poison spell kills all the ice pups. Queen, gonna need another spell just to get through the enemy queen. There goes the next rage. Down goes the wizard tower. Which way does she walk? Or she might not even go inside. Does he care if she goes inside or not? I don't know. Queen will fight the enemy royal champion. She's gonna keep walking up and get close to that single. We might have to send King in for the single. What's his plan here? A wall break to have access to the single. There's a chance she just goes in toward the clan castle, though. Yeah, she is. Oh, and because of that, the king's late. That's gonna cost him a few more spells. Hmm, not liking this. That sneaky was also late. Gosh, pop your king, pop your king, pop your king. What are you waiting for? Pop your king. Get the single. Oh. Wall break! Double wall break! Oh, this could be juicy. Never mind. The wall break, the second wall breaker died early. She has access to the eagle and the scatter shot though. Wall breaker on the right. Or for nothing. King's dead anyway. We're about to be. Royal champion. Here we go with the Lala. One minute on the clock. Queen did get the eagle. Hopefully she goes in for the scatter shot soon. She's gonna ignore it forever. RC making her way to the core. If the Lala was like five seconds earlier, it could have forced her in, but oh, he's gonna use some clever invis here to see if he can force her in. Oh, if only he got the RC and that warden ability. That would have been clutch. RC goes down. Can the balloons path to the multi? Queen is also dead. One more rage. He uses it down south. Oh, if he got the RC and the warden ability, I'd say it's probably a triple, but now it might fizzle out. Warden so low. Does he die to the Giga Poison? Yes, he does. Healers are pulling the traps. Balloons are thinning out. Mm. Tesla farm gonna prevail. He is gonna get more percent than Republican got, but we're basically gonna be all tied up after the third round of attacks. Man, if he was able to hold that Warden ability for another half second, get the Royal Champion in it, this would have been crushed. Nice try, but falls short at 80. 6%. Dr. Abdullah is in. Let me pull up his webcam. There we go. He's giving us the OP elbow view. I love it. Sui Lalo. Oh, it's probably going to be a Blizz Lalo, actually. Where's he going to Blizz? Oh, he's going for a juicy Town Hall Blizz with the Warden ability. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That Warden taking a lot of damage early, but I guess it doesn't really matter because he's supposed to die anyway early. Freeze on the sweeper, super minion CC, blimp makes it all the way, we pop it open, invis, rage, warden is still sniping a few more buildings, he's about to die, there's the next invis, they gotta get the town hall or he's in big trouble, giant bomb goes off, super wizards are dead! RIP! <laughs> Homie's in trouble now. Uh, what's plan B? We dropped the queen on the right. We don't have a grand warden. Even getting the town hall is gonna be tough. Oh, jeez. King on the right side. Queen's in at one o'clock. Oh boy, what's he gonna be able to do? Is he gonna try to somehow get queen? I don't even think queen can get to that town hall, man. Only one wall breaker left. The only way she reaches the town hall is if she magically goes in that top wall segment. There's no way. At this point, you just gotta try to set a funnel and save the royal champion for the town hall, right? Like, that's the only way to do it. You just use your Lalo, use your hero, set a funnel, and then just send RC for the town hall. I think that, oh, he uses RC early. Yeah. Starts the Lalo from the bottom side without a warden. Here we go. RC still paths there. Uh oh. Use the freezes a little bit better. Use the invis. Come on, come on. Don't. Oh, he almost made that tunnel invisible. Pops the RC ability, bro. She's still not going to get it. Freeze, freeze. He doesn't have a freeze. No. 
No. No. Don't worry, he's got six balloons and a haste. Double haste! Makes it twice as fast! Red bombs! No! No! Three more! Triple haste! <laughs> Use the other one! No! <sighs> Tell me they get haste on the haste! <laughs> yes! Woo! There we go! <laughs> Poor guy. Oh jeez, what a save! What a save, but the town hall drops. It's a two star. Oh my gosh. Archer at nine o'clock, but we're running out of time. It's 73%. Juan is in. Yo, is this the real Juan? It is, bro. This is 2019 world champion Juan right here. Let's go. Queen charge Lalo. Good old Juan jump Juan. Early Yeti Bomb with a Rage, gonna pull the CC troops as well. Queen, free spell, healers bro, there we go, she's okay. Rage, oh, oh. oh she low low! We go with the freeze. Poison spell is in. He's okay. He's okay. She pops the Hound. King on the bottom side of the base, Eagle Artillery already activated. Valkyrie with the king, sure. Queen will go in toward the scatter. We're already gonna have to use another spell, bro. He's having to use the spell so early. Not gonna be hardly any spells left for the Lalo. Wall break to get king access to the eagle. Does he actually path in? We need the wizard to funnel, and he should. But king's already low as well. Queen's just gonna have to beat through a wall, and hopefully she picks a good one. At this point, he's just crossing his fingers. This is when he could use his jump spell. <laughs> oh, the memes. Not that many people in chat probably even get that reference. Royal Champion on the left, Headhunter to help kill the enemy king. Queen's beat through a decent wall, we're gonna rage her through it. <clears throat> How far does that Royal Champion get? If she takes out the core multi, that's looking good. We got an invisibility spell. Queen's in range of the single though. Dude, use the invis on the- Oh no! Oh, she gets it! Multi drops. If Queen gets Town Hall, he's got a shot to triple. And she will, right? Oh, the healers are in range, bro. They might have to freeze the Town Hall here. Freeze the Town Hall. Juan. Oh, never mind. He had the ability. I'm blind as heck. Freeze the scatter shot. Lalo is going to be so slow going into the sweeper. Oh, that sweeper is so annoying. Does he get it? Does he get it? Maybe? Minions on the left, minions on the top. I think he does get it. The hound's gonna pop to the single as well. Unless the sweeper keeps blowing it up. He might time fail actually. I think he does time fail on the storage. The storage right here. He's about to be a 99 bro, no cow. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. He's actually going to 99. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, wait. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh! <laughs> Bro, I swear it said 0. <laughs> that's the luckiest hit all day. It's a 3 star for Leyendas. And now they're up 11 stars to 10. Wow. Psychander with the final attack for Team Republican. They're down by a star now. They have to triple and hope for a defense. Here they go with their last attack. It's gotta be a three star. Blizz makes it all the way over here. Should be able to pick up the Inferno Tower. Is it not a Blizz? It is. Why the clone? Oh, Giant Bomb. Oh, Wall Breaker. Clone spell, bro. He's going for a lot. Super Archers with the Super Wizards trying to make the Hound invisible so they target the Eagle. Does it work? Does it? Do they get the eagle down? Or, oh, he's out of invisibility spells. The eagle stays up. So we have to ask the question, was it worth it? Did he really get that much more value than a normal blizz? I don't think he did. Eagle's still up. He's gonna send all the dragons and riders into the Giga Poison? Oh bro, that feels wonky. 
Ops will warn ability. Queen kills the hound at 9 o'clock. King out in the front to help her. And he didn't do any funneling down south. He's gonna lose a couple dragons. We're gonna freeze up the eagle with the single. Bro, this still might work though, honestly. If they clear the core, this works. All they have to do is get that single target Inferno Tower, and this is a triple, but they might not get the single. We're gonna send the RC to help out. It might cost him his last freeze just to get through the single though. This is looking a little sloppy. <sighs> Lassie tanks the single long enough for RC to get through it without the freeze. That's huge as well. Warden, Dragon's gonna clear everything on the right side. We gotta get through this multi. <clears throat> RC ability about to go off. Queen gets the cannon. Boom, 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 boom. Doesn't damage the multi. We still got that freeze. We still got two rocket balloons. Just let Queen walk all the way around. Actually, you could use the freeze and she would get the multi. No. No, he lets her die. That's all right. He gets it, bro. He gets those. Just save the rocket balloons until we can direct target the multi. This is going to be a three star. It's all going to come down to the final attack. From Leyendas, bro. The disrespect. <laughs> Even swags the freeze early. Let's go. And he's going to swag his rocket balloons. What a god. I don't think these teams like each other. Down goes the CC building. It's a triple. And what's the percent? Hold on. Let's do some math. <clears throat> Math with Lexnos, never a good thing. Oh, actually, bro, Layin does have percent by like miles and miles. Like, what the heck? They literally only need like a 70% two star to win for rip. Kamikab is in with the final attack of the match. He needs to get like a 70 something percent two star for them to win. Let's see if he can do it. Coming in with Queen Charge Hogs. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Probably the riskiest attack there is. Rocket balloons on the right. Early Yeti bomb. For the scatter shot with a rage spell. Yes, we get the CC pull. Another Ice Hound. We've been seeing a few Ice Hounds today. Start the Queen over at 3 o'clock. She's just meant to walk straight toward the Town Hall, I guess. <laughs> Gotta take out the Ice Hound first, though, of course. One Hog Rider to try and finish off that Wizard Tower, but I don't think that's gonna get the job done. Dude, that's a waste of a hog rider. Poison spell is in. Might as well drop the healers from the right angle. No point in waiting, really. I'm just gonna wait till all the ice pups target the queen. Bro, drop your healers. Thank you. Minion at two o'clock. Now, how's he gonna deal with this giga poison, bro? He's just gonna YOLO straight into it. He doesn't care. Look at that raised up archer taking out the archer tower. I like it. Queen walking down. Gonna fight the town hall. Skelly trap pops. Queen's not standing inside the rage. Ugh. Gonna work. It just feels so... Ugh. Not fun. Next rage is in. Coco Balloon searching for traps. Queen on queen action. Oh, she's in trouble. Queen goes to ability. Yikers. King on the south side of the base. Eagle Artillery is awake. Bro, is my iPad lagging or what? Looks like it is. Hello, Tornado Trap. Aggressive Rage on the Queen. Wall Breaker straight into a Tornado Trap and Giant Bomb kills it early. And that was his last Wall Breaker. Now she won't be able to reach the multi. Rip. Hog Riders on the top side. Royal Champion for the core. We got one healing spell and we use it early. Headhunters are in for the Barbarian King. Cleanup wizards are in. Queen's about to die to these expos. We go with the freeze to try and save the queen. Yeah, that might work. We might have to use the invis on her too. There goes the warden ability. Might be worth the end. Oh, he goes with another freeze, but he misses the expo. That's okay. The expo dies. Multi drops too, bro. Does this really still triple? What the. No more spells. Are there no giant bombs over here? Bro, this base really had all the giant bombs over by the teaser. This is actually going to work, dude. He still has an invisibility spell. The Inferno Tower drops. There's a few Teslas, but RC has her ability. Queen taking out the CC in the core. This is about to three-star, dude. Nice plan for the base, I guess. Queen wraps back around. She can help get a few more buildings. Royal Champion gets the last cannon. Working on cleanup. Is he going to time fail? In. Nine. 
eight, seven, six. Should get it. Swags the invis. Last gold storage drops. That's a triple. Leandas AE are gonna win the match. 14 stars to 13. 97.2% to 91.6. They will be moving on to the next uh, round in the upper bracket and Team Republican moving down toward the lower bracket.